Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today, very cool video as we're here to talk about some of the news of the MetaQuest 3. Now, as you may know, it is actually heavier by a few, hundred, few tens of a grams than its counterpart, the Oculus Quest 2, although it is 40% lighter. Now, does this mean that it's going to be more front heavy than the Quest 2? Not necessarily. If you've already received your Quest 3, please let us know in the comments below if it's comfortable or if you feel that it's heavier than your Quest 2, of course, if indeed you have the Quest 2 as well. Look at that HP Reverb B2 over there. That's my go-to VR headset at the moment. And that's the DPVR E4 4K, which is not bad, but that's definitely my go-to. Now, I'm receiving the MetaQuest 3 on October 11, so only in a few days' time. Very, very, very excited about this. And do hit the likes to make sure that more people get to see this video, so we can attract more members to the VR Essentials YouTube community, of course. And do hit the notification bell after you subscribe, so you get all the lowdown about all the various different videos that will be coming later. But coming back to today's topic, why is it that it's heavier? And also, does it mean that it will be less comfortable? Not necessarily, as apparently the weight distribution with the original strap is supposed to be better than on the Quest 2. So let's see what's going to happen. I'll give you my full review, my full, you know, honest opinion about whether that's all true or not. Um, but of course, you can purchase other accessories and do go to the link below to purchase some of the accessories from VR Cover, everybody. And also, I will be reviewing some other stuff like Elite Straps and all that kind of stuff as well. So do hand type for that video as well coming very, very soon. And also, the other thing is, of course, that there will be a battery pack that you can use also with something like Bobo VR. We can put it on top and play up to five or eight hours more, which is absolutely crazy and totally not recommended but let's let's go into the reasons as to why it's heavier and you know what it all means for the quest 3 let's just go to the article in this one here here's why the skin your quest 3 weighs more than the quest 2 meta told us that the quest 3 cannot be compared apples to apples with quest 2 on weight what you need to know, everybody, the Meta Quest 3 weighs 515 grams or 18.2 Oz, whilst the Oculus Quest 2 weighs 503 grams or 17.7 Oz. Now, the Quest 3 pancake lenses help the headset, of course, to sit closer to the face, but don't necessarily make it lighter. The new Quest 3 components and upgrades like the optical distance adjuster and new cloth strap contribute to the small weight gain. Up until the Quest 3 launch, we assumed that the Mixed Reality headset's new pancake lenses, with, which have 40% slimmer optic profile than the Quest 2 lenses, would automatically make the new headset lighter and more comfortable. It turns out we were only half right. So guys, this is very, very interesting that it's only half right, but let's just continue and read on a little bit further. The Meta Quest 3 weighs 12 grams more than the Oculus Quest 2, as we just mentioned. That's not a major difference, and you'll find that the Quest 3 feels more snug and fully supported out of the box. But it did prompt us to ask Meta where the extra weight comes from. So, as this review says, and also as other YouTubers have said already who have already unboxed the actual or tried it when they were at MetaConnect and all these kind of things, have said that it is more snug. So, that is one good news, and perhaps we don't need to buy the Elite Strap as there were a lot of controversies last time with the Quest 2, as it did snap quite a lot. So is it going to snap again? Hmm, who knows, but let's hope not, of course. Now, thankfully, our Meta PR rep gave us some candid answers. She said that the two headsets cannot be compared apples to apples with Quest 2 on weight because the device have different components, specifically mentioning the new Mixed Reality Dev Sensor and Optical Distance Adjuster. To the first point, Meta added two new RGB cameras and the depth sensor to enable its mixed reality experiences, combined with the new Snapdragon XR2 Gen and extra RAM. They were bound to add some extra weight to enable, excuse me, enhance Quest 3 games. So we know there are new components inside of the actual Quest 3. These components are basically is what's dragging down the weight of the Quest 3 itself. But again, due to the strap, let's hope that the strap that comes with it is snug enough that it distributes the weight in a way that it doesn't really feel heavy. A bit like the Pico 4 where it has the battery at the back and also the main part at the front. It's distributed quite well. And of course, with the Pimax, even though this piece is actually 1.1 kg on your face, guys, which is pretty, 
pretty amazing, I have to admit. Uh, it is distributed quite okay. So if you're doing some sims, of course, nothing else other than sims. Uh, if you're doing sims, then it doesn't really feel heavy that much. But with the Quest 3, of course, you're going to be moving around a lot, doing Les Miles Combat, or you're going to be doing other kind of stuff like Beat Saber and all these. So it is important that it does sit snug on the head. And more importantly, it doesn't cause any safety issues with the collarbone and also anything to do with the back and the neck is really really important now by the way guys this video today is sponsored by vr-wave.store who i am partners with and who do provide lens prescription adapters you will be you can pre-order them today there's a promotion going on on the website i believe or it just finished do go and check out the website vr-wave.store you can buy any lens prescription adapters for any pretty much vr headset including the dgi uh, drone you know when you wear the drone you have the headset on they also do it for that headset and psvr2 hp reverb g2 and also so the hp reverb g2 and a whole bunch and of course quest 2 and quest 3 coming out as they're making them so do go check them out five percent discount everybody using the promotional code vr essentials description in the below the like button below all right let's come back to the actual video itself let's read some more of the article if you look at the Quest 3 from side to side, um, sorry, from the side, you can see how the white plastic portion of the headset is skinnier, while the silicon portion is actually much wider than before. In our Quest 3 hands-on, we praise it for its closest center of gravity, which makes it supremely comfortable. Ooh, supremely comfortable, guys. Oh, you're going to have to hold on for that one. I hit the notification bell for my personal review. As uh, I hope it's supremely comfortable. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's go back to it. Compared to the front heavy Quest 2, along with its better venting and space for glasses, it also adds a second cloth strap that it straddles the side of your head, giving you more support and ensuring that it's less likely to slide, but probably adding to the weight as well. That's why, though it's slightly heavier than its predecessor, the Quest 3 does feel like a design upgrade, and we suspect that without the pancake lenses, it would significantly significantly excuse me god i got it wrong in yesterday's video and by the way yesterday's video do go and check it out after this video where i talk about an announcement of a new quest coming out apparently next year so do go and check out that video i'll put a link in the description below it's the video from yesterday so the one before this one and if you're watching in the future just click the link and go and check it out if it's before the quest that was coming out all right let's go back the packing lenses it was significantly heavier thanks to all of the quest 3 boots boosts excuse me over the quest 2 on the other hand if you're expecting something super light you're likely to be disappointed is slightly more than a pound sitting on your forehead with all of the components sitting in the front area as for the quest 2 you may want to consider buying the elite strap with a battery pack which gives you more secure fit and counterbalances the weight more thanks to the rear battery. The only downside, of course, is that even with the Quest 3 pre-order giving you some free stuff, it's still an extra $130 for the strap on top of the $500 price tag, which may be too pricey for Frugal VR fans. And guys, it's very true. I mean, at the end of the day, this headset here, especially if you're a PC VR fan, and of course, do hit the notification bell after you subscribe, as I will be trying to see whether the Meta Quest 3 is worth the uh, money for PC VR compared to the HP Reverb G2, because this one's only 500 bucks guys 500 plus you know that's it and the pico 4 of course is not that much more to be honest with you but it's all about ecosystem i'm so happy to go back to the meta ecosystem i have to admit i do miss all my friends there even though i love the pico uh ecosystem they're just not as many people i know there and it's really harder to get to 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 play with people and there's just so many different issues with the pico 4 honestly speaking i'm just happy to go back to an ecosystem that is quite frankly, a bit more professional and just more experience in terms of VR gaming and social VR experiences, especially. All right, let's go, go back to the actual uh, article. So MetaQuest 3, 1, 2, 8 gigabytes, 499 plus free games, a free game and six months of MetaQuest Plus. Pre-order the MetaQuest 3 before October 9th and you'll get a free copy of the highly anticipated new game Asgard Wrath at $60 value. Wow. Wow, $60 value, I mean, that's a lot of money, guys. Games are getting expensive on the Meta Quest 3, don't you think? Leave a comment below. Let's have this conversation because personally, I think compared to three years ago, which they were all more or less $10, $15, 
maybe 20 max now are much much more than that so yeah games are getting pretty expensive guys and 630 us dollars and do remember that the us dollar at the moment is climbing higher so when you exchange that into your own currency it's going to be even more expensive so unless there's a big crash in the us dollar which well we think they might be next year or in six months from now at the moment it is climbing more and more expensive when we convert it for example into singapore dollars all right let's go back very quickly and finish the article so the new game has comes around 60 dollars value and six months subscription to the metaquest plus usually 799 per month for 100 percent free so there you go guys this is written by michael licks uh hicks excuse me who spent years freelancing uh, on every tech topic you can imagine so now, the, uh, the, the plus subscription, honestly speaking, it was a little bit confusing. Just so you know, you will actually get apparently to keep the two games. It's just that they introduce new two games every single month. It's not two games. Then at the end of the month, they swap those games and you can't play them anymore. I was told, I was told, now maybe it's changed, but I was told that you will get to keep the two games. If I'm wrong, if it's changed, please leave a comment below. I'd love to know if it has been updated because thank you so much for watching today's video do hang around for the next video today i'm going to be talking about pimax specifically comparing the uh foveate rendering using it with foveate rendering and without foveate rendering and also giving you some tips about that specific headset so do go and check out that video after this one all right guys take it easy lovely to spend some time with you as always i will see you in another video very shortly until next time bye 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 bye, -bye.